Sometimes we want to split data in the group and apply a statistical functions to each of the group in order to analyze our data in a more meaningful sense. Group by in pandas can help us to do this easily. Speeding uh, refers to a process in which we speed data in the group and by applying some conditions on the data set. And applying refers to a process in which we apply a function to each group independently. Combining refers to a process in which we combine different data set after applying group by and results into a data structure. So let's go through a few examples to understand the process involved in group by concept. So first of all, we import the pandas and then we use the with CSV files to with a uh, to with the database um, that containing in the CSV files. So in this CSV file, we have the we have the header, but we do not have the index columns. So uh, let's see what uh, we have in this data, database so we have some um, some features or some uh, attributes from this in this uh, data frames that contains the dates open highs and so and so and here because um, this state straight this date is a, a text string object. So uh, we just try, we, we will use the two dates time functions to convert it to a date, um, date time object in order for us to further uh, analyze the data. So you just convert it by using the two dates time function. And because we are going to just convert it uh, we just want to convert these columns um, to the to date uh, to the date time objects. So and then we assign it back to this column. So and then we just extract the year and also we want to get the month from these date time objects. So we just dot by putting dot dt dot year. The dot dt means um, date time. So, and then here we want to get the month and then we assign it back to the database. So here you can see we just append two column right here. And we further just uh, drop out some of the column uh, in order to make this example more clear. We just drop the date, we drop the I, low, it just close volume and then access equals to one means uh, we drop the column and in place goes to true make sure it's taken in place so you can now see that uh, this data set is much more simpler uh, in order for us to have a better understanding um, to uh, of the group by, say for example here we just uh, group using the group by functions to group the column for each of the month. Just So um, you just uh, use these group by functions and then 
put the uh, inserts the input uh, column names and then you can just um, have a different group right here and then the results should be a group uh, for for the March and then for April for May and so and so and here I just print the groups to you by using doc groups so you can have a better understanding of the results so we have the January results here and then that contain this um, data set the original column <clears throat> so for example you can you can see that um, we have a third column right here in March you can just check it uh, this is the first data set and then we have second data set we have the third data set that represent March you can see the column right here so that means the March con the, the March group contain these columns and so and so instead of uh, grouping in a single column we can also group it by multiple column here say for example we want to group the year and then also group the month So here you can see that the first group is um, 201 fee March, and then that have these, um, date, uh, yes, this has these data sets. And then the second group is um, uh, April 2019, and then have these data set and so and so. And this is how we can uh, how we can speed data by using the group by functions. The next things that I want to show you is that actually we can um, use uh, apply a functions to each of the group. Uh, say for example, uh, let me show you the original data set first. Say for example, we want to calculate the mean for each of the year and also each of the month after the using applying the group by function. So here we just uh, put the column name right after the group by and then dot mean we can achieve the result. Just show you. First and maybe twelve column. So you can see that this is um, in 2019 in March we have this mean value in the open price and so and so. Instead of having one statistical result, uh, we can also change it to dot aggregate functions and we can add multiple uh, statistical function in here say for example mean mass and mean and here you can see that the results right now we have the mean of the opening price max of the opening price and mean of the opening price in each of the month in uh, in the representing year and we can also assign a name to it okay, for example minimum is and then the these so you can see here we just um, change the name for each of the column by providing a dictionary in this uh, aggregate function we can also uh, use a filter functions to filter out the values that um, that we doesn't want before we calculate 
um, these um, this statistical function. So for example, here we use um, we put in the filter function here, and then we put a lambda x. Lambda x just means that um, uh, it's a function that applies to every single element inside uh, this data frame. Because these uh, filtering functions, uh, uh, we, we just, um, if, because this filtering function is right after the group by, that means first we group it by years and then by month. And then for each of the month and years here, we just um, use this filtering functions. Uh, we call it lambda x. And then for this opening price here, the uh, x open dot mean has to be larger than 8,000. That means after applying these functions, there are some of the uh, month will be gone. And you can now see only the data that contains the monthly means opening price is larger than 8,000 are uh, shown here. Because the group by here is used for uh, for filtering functions rather than spitting function. So the results will um, still contain each of the row. So in order for us uh, to better illustrate the result, we can just um, apply a group by functions to spit the table. Here we have the opening price and then the mean. So now you can see that the filtering fun the dog filter functions right here is to help us to get rid of the data that uh, on the monthly means that is less than uh, eight thousand. Or you can say only the mean value that is larger than 8,000 um, are remaining. Yeah. So that's all for the group by functions. I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching.